When the UNH football team opens its season Thursday night at Holy Cross, it'll continue its rivalry with the Crusaders, one that had been dormant for 27 years until the two squads resumed play in the Cats' home opener last season. I think it's unbelievable for New England football. I think it's great for you know rivalries because very many left in New England to be playing. And you know I really like like playing Holy Cross. I think they fit who we are. I think we fit who they are. Uh, it's great. You know it's an hour and a half bus trip down here. Something that I'd like to keep continuing to do. New Hampshire enters play with an even record of 6-6 six and six all time against Holy Cross and the Cats are aware of the challenge ahead. They're a very good football team. They present a bunch of different fronts defensively and they, from what I hear they have a very good offense as well. So as, as every game we play this year is going to be a challenge and we have, we have to rise to that challenge. No, 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 it doesn't matter who we're playing. They have a lot of returning starters. I think just their quarterback and maybe one O lineman was lost. Um, so they have a lot of players coming back. Um, they look like a very good team and we're definitely going to have a Tough challenge come Thursday. Like we always say, the most important game is the next one, and Holy Cross is the opener of the season. Got to win that, and uh, got to start off well, get rolling. In last year's meeting between the two squads, the Wildcats escaped with a victory when Kevin Decker connected with Justin Mello along the near sideline to give the Cats the 39-32 advantage. I just remember Deck pretty much laying it out there for me, and. Uh, turned into a touchdown and really helped us out. They're out for revenge and just like any other football team, they, they want to beat us because they want to be 1-0 on Saturday night and so do we. So we have to come up with our best effort and our best our, our, our best mindset to be able to, to be able to beat Holy Cross. They're a very good football team. Last week, freshman Sean Goldrich was announced as the starting quarterback for the opener, edging out sophomore Andy Velas for the job. Goldrich compiled a 25-4 and record as a starter at Notre Dame High School in Connecticut. I'm, I'm excited for him. I know he I know he's excited to get out there and play. And, uh, I think everyone's interested in seeing a young quarterback step up in the program. And, uh, I don't know, I, I'm really looking forward to see how he does. Sean Gold is a very good quarterback. Andy Bales, if, if he winds up getting a snap or two, or, or James Brady, whoever it is back there, all very good quarterbacks. And we have a lot of confidence in them. But if we get set up the run with a veteran offensive line and, and some great running backs, it'll just, it'll just let, let those quarterbacks shine even more. UNH and Holy Cross kicks off at 7.30 Thursday night at Fitton Field in Worcester, Massachusetts. For all the latest, visit unhwildcats.com.